Installing your Acorn Magnetic Cupboard Locks You will need supplies to clean and dry the installation area, as well as a measuring tape. Before you start the installation, you will need to determine your furniture type. Overlay furniture is when the door sits over the frame. Inset furniture is when the door sits inside the frame. We will show both types of installations in this video. Method 1. Installing your locks on overlay furniture. Locks can be installed facing upwards or to the side. For thicker doors, we recommend installing the locks facing up. In this application, we are installing a side orientation onto a door. This method will also work on overlay drawers. First, clean and dry the surface to be installed on. Take the applicator and insert a catch plate face down into the top. Making sure it has fully slotted into place. Then insert a lock face down into the applicator. And securely click into place. Carefully remove the 3M film from the catch plate. Stick the applicator to the inside wall of your furniture, ensuring it is flush to the edge, and press firmly so the adhesive bonds to the surface. Then remove the 3M film from the lock adhesive. Close the door and firmly press to help the lock adhere. Open the door and your lock should now be attached. Press down on the lock to improve the connection, taking care not to move the position. Carefully, remove the applicator, making sure the catch plate remains in place. Next, check that your lock is in the lock mode by pushing the hook forward. When the lock mode is engaged the key can move the hook. Apply a sticker to the door to assist you in lining up your key with the lock. Your cupboard is now locked and safe. Remove your key from the holder and line it up with the sticker to unlock the door. Method 2. Installing your locks on inset furniture. In this application, we are installing an upward orientation onto a drawer. This method will also work for inset doors. Take the applicator and insert a catch plate face down into the top, making sure it has fully slotted into place. Then insert a lock face down into the applicator and securely click into place. First, clean and dry the surface to be installed on. Measure the thickness of the door to determine how deep the lock needs to sit inside the frame. Remove the 3M film from the catch plate. Measure the same distance back on the furniture and install the applicator, ensuring it is straight and not at an angle. Then, press down firmly to secure the adhesive. Next, remove the 3M adhesive film from the lock. Close the drawer and firmly press to help the lock adhere. Open the drawer and your lock should have transferred into place. Press down on the lock to improve the connection, taking care not to move the position. Carefully remove the applicator, making sure the catch plate remains in place. Next, check that your lock is in the lock mode by pushing the hook forward. When the lock mode is engaged the key can move the hook. Apply a sticker to the outside of the door to assist you in lining up your key with the lock. Your inset drawer is now locked and safe. Remove your key from the holder and line it up with the sticker to unlock the door. Remember to remove your key from the holder otherwise the magnet may not engage with the lock. Check that your lock is in lock mode by clicking the hook forward, this will allow the hook to engage with the catch plate. To disengage the lock, click the hook backwards. The cupboard will now remain in unlock mode. 
Avoid installing your locks next to a metal hinge or screw, as this could interfere with the magnet. Buffer beads may prevent the lock from reaching the catch plate. To solve this, move the catch plate forward from the edge the exact distance created by the buffer bead.